Fatima. Come on, some love for our friend. Our friend is a 21 year old architecture student from Kerala. Sketching, hina designing, dancing and photography are some of the artistic things that she loves. Determination and focus are her keys to success and she aims to do big in life. Wish you all the best, our friend. Fantastic. And last but not the least, Omkana Sarkar. Woohoo! Ankana is a 23-year-old multimedia student from Kolkata, a fun-loving girl who likes to put her thoughts on canvas. She's passionate about designing and modeling and is thrilled about dancing and traveling, among many other things. Ankana, I wish you all the best and you're looking fantastic in the dress. Hit the head ramp with the girls. I'll take care of the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, let's cheer for Team Gloss! Just a couple of steps back that we can hear as well. Yes, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Can we one more time give a round of applause to Team Gloss and the effort put in. Fantastic, fantastic girls, fantastic Katrina. Thank you so much. This was lovely. Team Gloss, this was wonderful. They're the designers of the clothes they were donning, the outfits they were wearing. I'm going to tell you something about these three lovely designers. Ritika Bharwani, about Ritika, a creative spirit, the love of fashion and affinity to exploring new cultures through her art led Ritika Bharwani Jaisingani to decide at 15 that she would be a fashion designer. That's just one of them. We also have Zulekha Sharif, a self-stimulated designer who uses influence and heritage for her inspirations. Zulekha Sharif mixed her old world customs and modern values to launch herself today. And last but not the least, the lady responsible for the clothes of the girls is Babita Malkan. Ladies, I'm going to call on stage Sonam Kapoor and Katrina Kev and Manshi Gua, General Manager, L'Oreal Paris. Ladies and gentlemen, the three... All right, let me ask my first question to Manshi. Can I? May I? I think it's only fair. It's only fair, right? Manshi... Very few people get to sit between Katrina and Sonam Kapoor. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, uh, you know, when I stand next to these ladies, I feel only one thing, which is short. <laughs> <laughs> nicely put, ladies and gentlemen, that was nicely put. Okay, Sonam, Katrina, my dusra sawal for both of you. Uh, I don't think the world has seen you all sharing a stage or sitting so closely to each other lately. So what do you have to say about that? Both of you, come on. Katrina, Katrina, I, I, I don't bite. You don't bite? I don't bite. I won't bite. I promise. <laughs> I she can think... interchange seats, I still won't bite. <laughs> I think I'm a source of entertainment to Katrina. She loves sitting next to me. She's constantly laughing when I'm around, which I think is amazing. I love uh, Katrina. I think I've said several times. So um, I think it's great that we 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 can share a stage together. I think lots of actresses wouldn't be okay with doing that. And 
um, I'm quite happy and honored to be on the same stage as her. So. No, that's very humble. Round of applause for Sona for saying such sweet and nice things. Come on, she's being really sweet. That was really nice, Sona. I was really touched with that. <laughs> okay. Okay, moving on. Now, let's throw this open for the media. Do we have questions for the lovely ladies on stage? Do we have a mic for the media as well? Can we say a raise of hands and please introduce yourself and go for your question. Hi. Hi, Mansi. Hi, Mansi. This side. Yeah. Uh, is Shoma Ghosh from Grey Shoma magazine. Uh, मेरा प्रश्न आपसे ये है कि इस बार कैटरीना फर्स्ट टाइम डिब्यू कर रही है आपके इससे पहले अश्वेरा जी और सोनम जी भी किया है आप इनके पहली बार करने कितना एक्सपेक्ट कर रही हैं कि कैसा ये अलग होगा कितना अच्छा होगा क्या एक्सपेक्टेशंस ऑब्वियसली अच्छा ही होगा सो आई एम वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट दैट I think we have three wonderful women and three amazing stars. So uh, it's going to be a great can once again. Hi, Mansi. This is Pooja, freelance journalist. I would like to ask you, how has been the journey of L'Oreal? How was the transition? It's been 18 years of L'Oreal. No, yeah, it's 18 years uh, since we have been, uh, you know, uh, makeup uh, partners in the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, it's been, I think, a very, very good journey because most of our uh, most famous celebrities have always walked the red carpet. There are celebrities who have also grown with Cannes with each passing year. So uh, I think we have some wonderful memories. And when I sometimes look back, and see all the old photographs. I think you can see the journey of a brand, the journey of the celebrity, and uh, also the journey of partnerships. Because many of our celebrities have been there for you know uh, for decades with us. So I think it speaks a lot about uh, the brand and the kind of people we have with the brand. Seven years with L'Oreal. <laughs> and five years at Cannes as well. Cannes as well, right? And your fifth year at Cannes. Fantastic. Can we have another yeah, question? Hi, hi, yeah. hi, Katrina. Uh, this is Sohail over here. Hi. Uh, we are missing you a lot, in fact. Like, happy to see you again over here. How are you preparing yourself? Happy to see you too. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, how are you preparing yourself for the Cannes Festival? Well, um, I think L'Oreal has an amazing team that works um, in Cannes and I think works with a lot of their um, ambassadors from all around the world. So you have a great team already in place with your hair, with your makeup experts, um, with stylists as well. So that whole team is in place and um, I think they've always done an amazing job. So I'm happy to learn from them and to um, see new things, learn, experience new trends. And then of course, if, um, if I'm still uncertain or insecure about something, I'll just pick up the phone and call Sonam because I think she's the best person for advice when it comes to clothes or when it comes to style and fashion. Um, she always gets it bang on. And if she's next door and I'm, I still don't have anything to wear, I'll just go into her room and <laughs> take a dress. <laughs> Do you mind? No, thanks. Um, no, I've known Sonam for quite some time and she's um, a really, really uh, sweet and special um, friend, I think I can call her. So if I need any help, I know she's there. She'll help me. Hi, uh, this is for Sonam and Katrina, both of you. Hey, here. you. I'm here. Uh, the meaning of fashion changes every time. So what's, uh, what fashion means to you? Can you repeat the question again? The meaning of fashion changes every time. What fashion means to you, Sonam and Katrina? The meaning of fashion changes every time. So what fashion means um, to you? Go for it. Honestly, uh, there's something, there's fashion and then there's style. Uh, fashion is about trends and it's about what's, uh, you know, now in, in, you know, in vogue. But uh, style is something which is timeless and classic. And uh, yes, you're right, fashion keeps changing, but inherent style always remains. And uh, uh, so it's just about, you know, anything that represents your style and you kind of have to adapt fashion of any era to your style. 
And what about Katrina? What's her view? <laughs> I was listening, sorry. <laughs> um, what is my view? I think um, nobody better can answer that question than Sonam. I think she said the correct answer. I do believe that style is a little more personal and fashion is something which can be dictated by you know, fashion editors, fashion magazines. And um, I think if you are uh, very comfortable in that world and confident, then you should definitely experiment and try new things and if you have uh, good direction as well. And if not, I think what, you know, if you're not a person who likes to experiment too much with fashion, I think that's okay also. Um, as long as you're comfortable in your own skin, I think fashion should not um, ever overpower you. You should always dress for yourself first and then for other people. Thanks. Thank you. Where's our next question? Don't feel pressured to ask a question. There are many questions happening on the side screen as well. I can slip one of them. On your left? Yes. On your left. Hi. Uh, I would just love to ask you, okay, you're doing very well at your professional level. When do we get to, when do we get to see you married? When is that day going to come? Because she's finally, she's, she's going to get married after me. She just, we've decided this. And, <laughs> and when is that going to happen? We don't know yet. <laughs> Katina, what's your answer for this? I think that's an excellent suggestion. I should get married after Sonam, and I don't think Sonam knows yet as well. So I, I think neither of us know. Um, marriage should be special, and marriage, I think, should be magical. And um, you should just get married when you look at each other, and you don't, you're 100% sure you never want to live without that person. And I hope that happens soon, and for me, and for you, and for Sonam, <laughs> and for all of us. Very Too soon. young, man. Yeah. 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 See, see, everything is possible. Hosakti uh, is a very uh, generic, I mean, it's, anything is always possible, but um, I don't have any plans yet, so I can't share the plans with you. But if I do and when I do have the plans, I promise you, I will tell you. That's my promise. Maldives ke vacation pe aap gayi thi. Aap vahan se aabhi gayi jaldi. Kuch khas wajah ki aap itne jaldi vahan se aabhi. Laurie, aapne aapko bula liya. Manishi's fault. All Manishi's fault, she called me. <laughs> I had to come back. All the way back on the plane, I was only thinking about Manishi. See her face. But it was a very important event. Um, this uh, is something I think was really special, the thought of what uh, has been done today. Um, basically, I think Khans is something which always seems very out of reach, probably, for most people. And um,